Okay, I want to show you how to download Windows Movie Maker 2.6. This is the software I want to use for a short video editing unit. The reason I want you to download version 2.6 is that it looks much more like most video editing programs, even including the high-end ones like Final Cut Pro uses the same basic interface as Movie Maker. So if you learn how to use Movie Maker 2.6, you'll be able to use Camtasia Studio, a very popular video editing program. You'll be able to use um, Adobe Premiere. You'll be able to use Final Cut Pro. Of course, only the very beginnings of it, but the interface will be familiar to, to you. There is a Movie Maker version called Windows Movie Maker Live. I'll show you some screenshots of it and you'll see why you might want to play with it for home use once you have learned the basic video editing interface, but it's not the greatest way to learn video editing because it has a very different interface. Okay, so as you can see, I've launched Internet Explorer. The reason I've launched Explorer instead of Firefox is that I'm going to go to Microsoft.com. When I go to Microsoft, I always use Internet Explorer. A lot of times when you're working with Microsoft.com, it refuses to work with browsers other than Internet Explorer. So I just, when I know I'm going to end up at Microsoft.com, I just go there with Internet Explorer. And I suggest you do that too. Even if Firefox is your main browser, you all have Internet Explorer installed on your PC because it's just part of the operating system. So for this, go ahead and use it. So I'm just going to click search with download Windows Movie Maker 2.6. And that's really important. And then I'm going to look for the Microsoft.com answer. And there it is, Microsoft.com. I do not want to download it from anywhere else. So let's come here. And I'm just going to click the download button. Here we are at Microsoft.com, perfectly safe website. Everything's fine. Let's go. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and run the file rather than saving it locally. And next. And of course, you have to accept the terms of the license agreement, and that's fine. And now we'll just wait for Microsoft to start the download. It's a fairly small download. Won't take long. There it is. It's already done. 